It is winter. Outside, the weather is growing cold, water is freezing in the lakes and ponds, and animals are shouting to escape from the bitter winds. But somewhere in a school, not so very different to this one, all the children are getting excited about Christmas. Their heads are full of dreams about presents and Father Christmas. children were excited and were making lists of the gifts that they wanted to receive. So excited that they completely forgot to decorate the school Christmas tree that stood neglected in the corner of the school hall. Mr Potts, the school caretaker, felt sorry for the tree that was bare and unnoticed. So that night, Mr. Potts worked late in his workshop, painting and decorating a bauble for the school Christmas tree. In the morning, Mr. Potts felt very tired, but he made sure he was in school long before any of the children arrived. <coughs> the first child to arrive was a little boy called Archie. He noticed the bauble straight away and stood looking at it. Soon the others stopped to see what Archie was staring at. What a beautiful bauble, I wonder who put it there. <laughs> Look, there's a picture on it. It looks like a lot of people loading up cars. That's not very Christmassy. I wonder what it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, yes. That's a picture of a town called Nazareth more than 2,000 years ago. The Roman emperor had decided to hold a census, so he sent out orders that all people should travel back to the place of their birth. What? All of them? Yes. 
everyone had to go and some of them had very long journeys indeed. So go we must. But do we really have to stay with your mother? Can't we find a nice inn or something? We're, we're lucky to have anywhere to stay at all. Everywhere is going to be packed. Now, check that you've got everything you need and let's go on the road. Fine. Wish me luck. <laughs> The children got on with their lessons. They ate their lunch and played outside in the frosty playground. At the end of the day, they waved goodbye to their friends and went home for tea. Most of them forgot about the Christmas tree, but I just couldn't stop thinking about the Christmas tree and who had made it. I wonder if there'll be another one tomorrow. Sure enough, that evening, Mr Potts once again worked through the night. I'll work with all my might, even if it takes all night And I'll get this wall finished for our Christmas tree
In the morning, Archie got to school as early as he could. When he arrived, there was another bauble already hanging on the tree. Wow! This is even more lovelier than the first. I wonder who is making all these decorations for us. What is the picture this time? It looks like three men on camels. They've got very long beards. What? The camels? <laughs> no, the men, of course. Oh, yes. I think this one is about the three kings. They had heard that a very important person was going to be born. They decided to travel to welcome him and take him some presents. They weren't exactly sure where to go, but they had read that they should follow a stand that their journey would be a long one. Look at the way that one is scratching his head. They look completely lost to me. We have a long journey ahead of us. Are you sure you know the way? Do I know the way? I was going to follow you. <laughs> Why won't you ever just stop and ask for directions? <laughs> Actually, I do know the way. We should look for the star in the north. <laughs> no, no, no. Surely the star will appear in the south. <laughs> well, I think you're both wrong. We should look to the west. Right, there it is. 
On the third night, Mr. Mr. Potts left work a little early to give himself a bit more time to finish the next bauble. on the tree. That morning, many of the children went straight into the hall to see what Archie was staring at. Wow, this is the best one yet. I wonder who is doing this for us. Oh, look, this is a picture of a, of a man walking and a lady riding a donkey. The donkey looks really tired. Well, the lady does look quite fat. <laughs> She's not fat. That's Mary, the wife of Joseph. And Mary is expecting a baby. They are travelling to Bethlehem where Joseph was born. Traveling for so long, Joseph. I'm tired and my back is hurting. Her back's hurting. <laughs> We've got to keep going. We must get to Bethlehem before the baby is born. Not much further and we'll be there. Just think of the warm beds and the hot meals that'll be waiting for us when we arrive. I'll just have a bale of hay.
get tired just walking to school? Well, it was certainly a very long journey. And when they finally did get to Bethlehem, the city was packed with other travellers all looking for somewhere to stay. Oh, Joseph, I'm so tired. There are so many people here. I don't think we are ever going to find a place to stay. Don't worry, I'll find us somewhere to rest. Look, there are some more inns up this road. One of them must have a free room for us to stay. I could help, I really do. You can see that my wife is expecting the baby. Please, you must somewhere have somewhere we can stay. Please, we're desperate. I'm afraid the only room I have is a stable with my animals, but that is no place for a baby to be born. We'll take it, please. Well, if you're sure, I'll show you the way. I will try and make it as comfortable as possible for you all. Finally! <laughs> At the end of the day, the children left school wondering what the next bauble on the tree would look like. Some of them already knew the story of the nativity and guessed it would be an angel or a bright star. Mr Potts was determined to make a start on the next bauble, despite feeling more tired than ever. He went straight home and without even stopping for tea, set to work. She was so desperate to find out what the next bauble on the tree would look like. He brushed his teeth and nagged his mum to get him to school as quick as possibly. He arrived at school just in time to see a light being turned on. He peered in through the window, pressing his nose against the glass. It's Mr. Potts, so he's the one who's been making all these baubles. Then he saw 
Just how tired Mr Potts was looking. He was just about to go inside to speak to him when the other children started to arrive for school and immediately noticed the new addition to the tree. There's a shepherd too. Look on the other side. There's a picture of a beautiful fairy. Oh, that's not a fairy. It's an angel. Oh, yes. That makes much more sense. But I don't understand what a sheep has to do with Christmas. A sheep? Oh, yes. This will be the bow for shepherds. You see, just outside Bethlehem, some shepherds were looking after their flock. It was late, but a dazzling light appeared in the sky, and suddenly the sky was filled with angels. The shepherds and all the sheep were amazed. Well, this sheep doesn't look amazing. It looks like he's snoring. He's saying, I can't hear a thing over the storming. I don't know. I can't hear anything either. You must travel to Bethlehem for today in the city of David. A baby will be born. This is ridiculous. The first exciting thing to happen in years, and all I can hear is lazy bones over there snoring. You will find him wrapped in swaddling clothes and laying in a manger. Wake him up, we're gonna sick on the sick.
The shepherds must have been very busy. The three kings must have been very important. So why did they all travel so far? Just to see a little baby. Well, it was no ordinary baby. <coughs> you see, that child was born in a humble stable more than 2,000 years ago. Was called Jesus, he is God's son, and was sent to bring peace to the people who live on earth. <laughs> when Archie left school, he just couldn't stop thinking about how tired Mr. Potts had looked. It's so kind of him to make all these decorations for us. He looks so tired. I wish I could do, we could do something for him. Archie thought and thought. He thought about the story of Christmas and the birth of the baby Jesus. He thought about the baubles and then he had a brainwave. <laughs> I know. Let's make a bauble for Mr. Potts. What a great idea. We'll decorate it with baby Jesus and hang it at the top of the tree. So when he got home, Archie rang his friends and asked for their help with his idea. So that evening, instead of watching TV or playing their favourite games, the children got together and brought empty yoghurt pots, cardboard boxes and lots and lots of glue. They cut in stick and folded and made the finest ball bottle they possibly could. When Mr Potts got to school in the morning, he was feeling miserable. He, he had meant to make one last decoration for the top of the tree but he'd been so tired that he'd fallen asleep as soon as he'd got home. But when he arrived at school, but when he arrived at school, the door was already open and the lights were already on. He walked in through, he walked into the hall and was astonished to see the children already there to meet him. He immediately noticed the bauble with baby Jesus on the top of the tree and realised what the children had done. He pulled out his large handkerchief and wiped the tears from his eyes. It was a very beautiful tree indeed.